Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Jefferson 105. On today's video, I am going to be showing you how to derive and do the maths behind understanding boost converters and book converters. I think these circuits are very essential for any kind of um, a step up and a step down voltages, so from 5 volts to 12 volts or from 12 volts to 5 volts and so on. Uh, they are very very useful and I think knowing the maths behind them it makes you understand better on how to build them and what to do with them so the first one that we're going to be covering is the step up so we'll I'll show you the diagram and how and how to do it okay the way I remember the step up is by saying LSD so we have the inductor the switch and the diode okay and the circuit diagram goes like this you'll have the inductor the switch and the diode okay this is the the diagram and then we also ha know that after the diode we have a capacitor that, that which is the one that gets charged and we have a capacitor in so that's C in and we have a voltage out which is what we need for the, the specific thing that we want to uh, convert a step up or the voltage that we want to step up and we have V in as well okay so that's the schematic the switch here is represented uh, it represents a transistor that you can use or a MOSFET okay in that case in order for us to to come up with the um, with the derivation of the um, of this circuit we need for the on time and the off time we need to know that the time that takes for the transistor to be on is equals to the duty ratio times the time period and the time for the transistor that takes to be off is equals to 1 minus the duty ratio and TP which is the time period okay so these equations are very important okay let's go with the first thing that we need to derive and it will be the time that it's on so the inductor so L D I over D T voltage of the inductor is equals to the voltage going for the inductor will go through the inductor like that and then because it's closed this circuit will have only VI going through because this will be closed that goes that way and then the voltage will just travel this way while this is closed right as you can see there so this is just VI okay for the off time we know that the voltage of the inductor is DI over DT and this is equals to VI which is the voltage going in when it's open we know that is that this makes this massive loop isn't it so we'll do in blue so the for when it's off it will go that way it will go this way down the capacitor and then down that way okay so then we know that it's VI minus V out but this has to be negative like that, because we want to take out what the V in is in order to work out what the V out is or what the voltage out is giving us which one is the accurate one okay so then we have so this is when we use this KTP in the next, next step so we have L D I over K T P equals V I which is the time on and then L D I over one minus K T P for the time period and this is equals because there's a minus in there we know that if we times this it will give us uh, V out if we do V out minus V out times minus that gives us a positive V out and minus VI 
Um, no, vi times minus, it will give us minus vi. Okay, remember that this step is very important at the beginning for this side. Okay, so next next step will be to rearrange the two formulas to get delta i, so the ripple current, which is the delta i. So we'll say that delta i is equals to v i k t p over l. Okay, and that that rearranges for that one, and then for this we'll do the same on this side, and we know that delta i is equals to 1 minus k v out minus v i t p and then we divide that by l because uh, later on we want to equate these two delta deltas i the ripple currents we want them to be to be equal to each other so we can cancel out the L from this side and the TP and the L and TP from this side so that gives us that delta I is equals to VIK in this side and in this one we have delta I is equals to 1 minus K V out minus VI and then obviously what we have to do now is expand the brackets so this is going to be equals to 1 so it will be 1 times that 1 times that 1 and then the k times that 1 times that 1 okay so then we have 1 minus v out is v out 1 times minus v i is minus v i minus k times v out is minus k v out minus k minus vi is plus kvi okay so that's the that's that bit so now that we know we cannot solve any more of this and we cannot solve this anymore so what we have to do now is equate them so what i do is delta i from this side from the t on is equals to the t of delta i okay and what we do is just write them them out and then it will be b i k equals to v o minus v i minus k v o plus k v i okay so now what we do this is so equals so we have a positive v i k and a positive v i k so if we move this one to that side it will become negative so therefore these two values cancel so this one and that one will cancel out and we end up with VO minus VI minus KVO so this VI is negative so we want it to be positive so we move it to the other side so it's VI and we end up with VO minus KVO okay so how, how now what we have to do for this section is factorize this side so we end up with VI vo 1 minus k because if we expand this bracket times the v out we get this okay which is v out times 1 v out v out minus k minus k v out okay so now what we what we need to do the next step will be to say vi over v out is equals to 1 minus k but we want it to be in terms of v out over v in so we do v out over v in which is equals to 1 over 1 minus k okay so as you can see guys it's a bit of a, a long wind a kind of a, a waking up but I'm sure you'll get used to it okay, it's very easy to understand once you know, once you know what you're doing okay we need to work on the power side so we 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 know that power out is equals to power in and we work out by doing saying that v out i out is equals to v in i in and we want to get these terms the current terms in terms of 
either v in over v out or v out over v in so I'll do in both occasions so then you know which way to use so we'll, we're gonna do this way first v out over v in so then we know that v out over v in is equals to i in over i out okay so that one will apply for this one and we can also do it the other way so then with v i over v out equals to i out over i i in okay and this one will go with this one because it's in this term v i over v out and you just match them up. These are useful when you have to work out the current for certain questions. Okay. So this is mainly for this one. And now we're going to go into the voltage ripples for this specific converter. So the voltage ripple is 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 work out by doing. We can work it out by doing this. So we know that delta V out is equal to delta Q which is the charge times the uh, divided by the capacitor this is equal to the current IO times the duty ratio times the time period over the capacitor okay so now we need to expand this so we need to get that in terms of voltage so we can do we know that Ohm's law is V V equals I I and we know that this is V out and this is I out so we can rearrange this to in terms of I out so we can replace it and this is going to be V out over I equals to I out so now we can replace this side so I this is an I I V out over R equals to I out. So what we do, this is equals to then in this case will be V out KTP over R C. Okay, so now the next step will be to get it as a percentage because you will find that in some questions you get five percent a uh, voltage ripple or something like that. So then you you can use the percentage value if so we know that is delta this will be equals to just delta v of but if you want to work out the percentage uh, with the percentage then we know that it's going to be delta v o over v out so we move the v out down and this is equal equals to just ktp over rc okay so this is the step up converter and this is all you need to know for the step up.